Hey friend, I'm Pastor Fred. Whoa, do I have something for you today. Today's topic, do you ever feel out of control? Listen to this. You can't control much of what happens to you in life. Am I right? You can't control who your parents are, where you were born, and a variety of other factors that have a significant influence on your life. But you can choose how you react to what life throws your way. You can get angry or stressed out or shrink into depression or guess what? Relapse. When slides come at you. Or you can respond gracefully. Oh, I had to look up that word gracefully. And gracefully means responding in a respectful and dignified way. For example, I will gracefully bow out of the discussion. Here's the point. The choice is always yours. In fact, the Bible says, look, listen to this. People say you're a fool. Well, when are you a fool? A fool expresses all of his emotions, but a wise person controls them. And that's in Proverbs 29.11. You may want to mark that. Again, that's Proverbs 29.11. Dash fool. Now, to live responsibly, we must put our minds in gear before we put our mouths in gear. Let me read that one again. I like that. To live responsibly, we must put our minds in gear before we put our mouths in gear. Think about that. We must think before we act. When others cause pain in our lives, we often respond by what? Trying to get even. Ironically, in our effort to get even with a person who has wronged us, we do get even. You know what? We sink to the other person level. You can't get much more even than that. God calls us to a much greater response. Some of us don't like this. Forgiveness. And we'll do a special session on forgiveness one day. But for right now, when you're mistreated, the proper reaction isn't to blow up or clam up. Both are irresponsible. Instead, God calls us to respond to hurt with calmness. I don't know about love. I'm just going to say, be a little peaceful and true. Again, God calms, calls us to respond to hurt with some calmness, patience, and truth. Here's the bottom line. Trust God to settle the score. That's right. Sometimes when you walk away and you feel like you're biting your tongue, don't because that hurts. But anyway, God, trust God to settle the score. He has much better resources to do that than you do. Let's pray. There's a song called Gracefully Broken by Matt Redman. If you get a chance, listen to it. But my prayer comes from a line in his song. My heart stands in awe of your name. Your mighty love stands strong to the end. You will fulfill your purpose for me. You won't forsake me. You will be with me. Here I am, God, arms wide open, pouring out my life, gracefully broken. Gracefully broken. Amen. Reminder, please send me your favorite recipes. Please do that, and I'm talking about any of them. It doesn't matter to me whether they're desserts, appetizers, entrees, whatever that word means, uh, but uh, casseroles, uh, you name it. You pick favorite barbecue sauce. I just happen to think about that. Or maybe that secret rub you got or that barbecue sauce. Again, we want it. We want you to help us build a recipe book online. Now, how do you do that? Very simple. You simply text. 704-246-4644, and I'm not a tax commercial. This is simply, again, and you can do this right now. Look forward to it. 
And until next week, I'm Pastor Fred, and from all of us at Start Butte, see you next week. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.